Hi, I'm Dr. Katrina Donahue, family physician, professor at UNC Chapel Hill. And I'm Dr. Laura Young. I'm an endocrinologist at UNC, and we're here today to talk to you about the results of our monitor blood glucose monitoring trial. The value of finger stick blood glucose testing in patients with non-insulin treated type 2 diabetes is debated. There are some studies that have shown improvements in glycemic control, while others have shown no evidence of effect. Despite this, over 75% of patients do home blood glucose monitoring. It's important to get the, the answer to this because glucose monitoring requires a lot of patients. And um, if it's going to help them manage their diabetes better, we definitely want them doing it. But if it makes no difference or it doesn't help them, then we'd like to take one more burden off of them and make it uh, easier to engage in self-care. So this study was conducted in 450 patients attending primary care practices in North Carolina. These were 15 primary care practices. Uh, patients had type 2 diabetes not on insulin. Their A1C or glycemic control was between 6.5 and 9.5. We randomized them into three groups. The first was no glucose testing or no home self-monitoring. The second was once daily uh, glucose monitoring. And the third was enhanced once daily glucose monitoring, which meant when the patient would test their blood glucose, they would get a message delivered to their meter with encouragement or instruction. And what's important to note and what makes our study unique is that we actually did this study in the real world setting. Um, we uh, randomized patients and, and deployed the intervention in the, the practices where the patients were seeing their doctors on a regular basis. We were, didn't do it in a clinical trial setting unit. We were in the practices in the real world. And our primary outcomes, we had two of them. Uh, the first was glycemic control, or A1C, at 12 months. And the second was health-related quality of life at 12 months. So the results of our trial found that at the end of 12 months, the um, glycemic control, or the A1C, which reflects how well a patient's blood sugar has been over the past three months, there was no difference in that A1C over the 12-month the period, depending on whichever arm they were in it. There was no difference. We also found that there was no difference in health-related quality of life between the three different groups at the end of 12 months. One interesting point was that at six months, the um, A1C levels were lower in our testing groups, but again, at 12 months, the results were not significant. This could have been due to some decreasing compliance in our testing groups. For me, it definitely raised um, some questions and it was a little surprising. Um, we often think of technology as sort of the next greatest thing and that um, we'll be able to help us as we um, manage our patients. Uh, to do better with the, um, all of their health conditions, but especially diabetes. And it was surprising that despite all this extra um, attention and messaging that we gave to the group who um, got the messages through the glucometer, they did no better compared to the people who were not testing. Well, first, uh, this study uh, does not include patients on insulin, so it does not apply to patients taking insulin. Uh, this study also didn't look at specific situations. Uh, it was not geared to look at, for example, testing um, if, you, if you changed your medication, if you, um, if, you, uh, if you increased a dose on a medication, and the study was not powered for subgroups such as duration of diabetes or history of prior glucose monitoring. Assumptions that blood glucose monitoring leads to better health outcomes may not be correct. Glucose monitoring should not be routine. Rather, patients and doctors should discuss each individual situation to decide whether to do home blood glucose monitoring or not. And um, one really important takeaway message from this trial is that these patients in the study were not on insulin. and so. Um, for folks who are on insulin, blood glucose monitoring still remains mm -hmm. uh, a cornerstone of therapy. And um, uh, for patients who are not on insulin, however, um, there definitely should be some discussion with the patient and the between the patient and the provider about how to proceed and whether glucose monitoring is really um, an important piece of the care plan for patients without insulin.